Again, we've happened upon Visa Lodge. It's a awesome hotel complex. That's, what you, that's, that's the combination of how you want to put it together. Located, I mean, in walking distance of uh, Toussaint Louverture Airport, literally just feet away. You got two different ways you can go about it, left or right. Both roads will take you to the airport. It sits on 1.6 acres, has 43 rooms. Man, it is truly, truly a staycation for those who live here and those who are coming in and want an immediate gratification, right? This is it, right? I mean, you have a full service kitchen, right? With food you can order. There is a lot of times you go to these different places, these hotels, these, these restaurants, and, and, the, and the menu shows one thing, but half of it's not there doesn't happen here. <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about. You, those who come to Haiti know exactly what I'm talking about, right? doesn't happen here, right? And, and here, we're, as I'm talking to you right here, we're, we're smack dab in the very center of the complex, to the left of me are rooms, to the right of me are rooms, right? And I mean, truly comfortable. Comfort is the premier, is, is the, is the de very definition of what it means to stay at Visa Lodge. And so it gives, brings, me, brings me great honor great happiness to spend some time here. I mean, even, even as we were walking around, there were not one, but two <laughs> weddings uh, happening, taking place, right? A big thing, a very big thing, of course, has been the fact that, you know, we've been in a time of, of, of protests. And so the tourism industry has taken a little bit of a hit, particularly this year, since it's, it's something that's been rolling into the prior year. So it's, it's ever so more important right now as things have calmed down and are looking to be calm for an extended period to not forget that tourism is a key driver and key engine for the country. And, and we need to make it a point to come to the country and to visit and to support the businesses and the and the different ventures that are here that exist and, and as you're doing that as you're buying local as you're as you're visiting family a lot of us have family here you know visa lodge is just one of those places that you can rest assure you can come and be of comfort and that i've actually had the opportunity to invite and she accepted the owner of visa lodge dominique Cargoness, thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have coming. you, and thank you for coming. And let me let me grab this seat here and join you in this beautiful garden. <laughs> on a 
beautiful sunny day here in Port-au-Prince and I can tell you Dominique you know the, the time I spent on property seeing everything I have to offer uh, it's truly a treat to know that we have a, a, a world-class place here just feet away from the airport yes thank you very much we're in the hidden garden I call yeah, it it's yeah. hidden because it's really very intimate but I always also call it the Eden Garden. Yeah. So it is uh, very nice. And um, this is a, a very um, cozy mm -hmm. hotel with uh, 20 bungalows. Each bungalow has uh, two rooms, um, the, client, the clientele that comes here. Yeah. It's a business hotel because we're so close to the industrial yeah. area. However, mm -hmm. people use us, especially on weekends. People use us to book, uh, for example, when they, like you say, a staycation. Yeah. And also people that are that come for uh, humanitarian reasons, they want to go to the provinces. We are used as a platform yeah. to go from here to there yeah. because we're so strategically located. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, and then we have a lot of people from the diaspora also come and locals. Yeah, locals. I mean, I, we just, I just talked about how we, there's weddings yeah. <laughs> going yeah. on right now. As exactly. Talk, two weddings. The weekends is a different two. type of crowd. Yeah. Yeah, no, weekends we have uh, people that come, especially on Sundays. Mm -hmm. and that way they don't have to go, you know, drive as far as going to the beach. Yeah. So they prefer to do it halfway. Mm -hmm. They stop here and have lunch with us here. And good service, good food and good pizzas. Now, now how long has Visa Lodge been around? About 30 years, but we've owned it for since 2000. Mm -hmm. So what I want to know too is your background. Because you're so Haitian. Oui, I know. C'est Haitian, natif, natal. Right. <laughs> avec diaspora, yeah, 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 yeah. Because, uh, because you spent some time. At yeah, least, yeah, at least 15 month. years yeah, uh, in the nine, Yeah, and, and came back at the age of 27. Uh, okay. And uh, and after that, um, left again. Um, and, even, and even while you're away professionally, you're always in the hotel area. Yeah, right? but I studied hotel uh, and tourism okay. management yeah. and came back after working in New York. I worked at the Hemsley Palace in the Plaza Hotel in New York mm -hmm. right after university. And then from there, uh, my parents decided to open a hotel, which is Moulin sur Mer. And so that's how I started my career was with uh, in Haiti. And then I worked there at least 20 years. Mm -hmm. And when my husband passed away, I left again to Florida with my children mm -hmm. that were young at the time and came back right after the Tremblement de Terre, you know, then uh, I realized that I needed to be in Haiti yeah. to do something to help. after the Tremblement yeah, de Terre. Yeah. And then, yeah, you, you, uh, you're helping, right? Providing places, a comfortable place to stay here is, yes. is important. Now, I know, you know, a big thing, that's why I like about your story is that, yes, oh, I say native, ça but also the fact you spent over 20 years yes. abroad, right? Yes. And, coming, and coming back and bringing important skill sets back to the country. Uh, you know, I find that incredibly needed, especially to this day, we still need that. So, so what, what sort of advice would you give someone who has incredible capacity, who wants to plug back in to, to, to Haiti? What sort of ideas would you provide them? Yeah, that's a great consulting? question. I think that um, being consulted myself, yeah. I think that the best thing is to find a partner here yeah. in Haiti, mm -hmm. you know, and I invite people to do so. Mm -hmm. The idea is that, you know, because many times you're disconnected as a Haitian abroad and I've been living there and I understand this, the situation, mm -hmm. you're disconnected and then you don't know exactly how to go back home. Yep. And I think that the best thing is to create partnerships yep. and linkages, you know, through associations, through the hotel association, through the Chamber of Commerce, the Florida Chamber of Commerce, for example. Or other organizations like the the conference that was uh, with the alliance and WHP and the National Association of Haitian Professionals. Yep, that's all exactly. And you know, these are ways to link to create linkages to come to Haiti, and that way you do it professionally, not by family members, because this is too informal. You need to do the formal way and the legal way. And the best thing is to have a partnership. And I believe so, especially when you don't know the country anymore very well. You still have the heart for Haiti, but you do not know the everyday operations of Haiti. So you need to have a trustworthy Haitian professional that goes along with you. And then you learn to know the system better. And then you can maybe look for opportunities in, uh, I would say in tourism is yeah. one of the greatest opportunities I can find, I agree. I agree. especially with the situation re really yeah. these days mm -hmm. where we are having such a hard time in Haiti. And I believe that the Haitians in Haiti need to open up also 
to create that partnership. Yeah, and let's talk about that because you know one thing that I, I talk about very much on CGNT is you know business as a catalyst for change in the country, not mm -hmm. charity. You know, though it helps, but the real driver is, is yeah. investment in business. And we just got out. I, mean, I think I feel it feels like we're out of the tunnel. We're getting a little breath in terms of the protests and, yes. and the very difficult times for a lot of different industries, especially travel. So. You know, it could be, and I, I don't sugarcoat anything. I like folks on, hey, I eat by facile. It's not easy. It's not easy to do yeah. business here, but still, it needs to be done, and it can be very rewarding. I, I know I have almost a dozen employees. How many employees are here? Oh, we have about seventy employees. Seven zero, seven zero, seven zero employees are being are having being able to support their families. And we used to have more, but we had to reduce yeah, because little, of the situation. Yeah, right. And hopefully, we can you know yeah. bounce back up. Exactly. And so you're making an impact on seventy lives. More than that, because that's the seventy people who are getting payroll, but then they support their families and etc. Right. Right. Yeah. So 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 the, the 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 importance is obvious, but it's difficult. So talk to the folks out there to say, how do you? overcome some some challenges and the mindset that you kind of have yeah um to, as you're going through it just you know because that's really important it is and and i think that the first thing is to listen mm -hmm. you know you need to listen to the other and mm -hmm. see how mm -hmm. you can work it out mm -hmm. and also be very patient mm -hmm. in haiti you need to be Patience. very patient I've and tolerant that. And because things are not very easy, however, the opportunities are humongous. And if you do things legally, right, you are able to do things in Haiti and look for the opportunities. And like I said, with the right partners, okay. I think that's the best thing to do. Right. And we need we need the help of the Haitian diaspora, you know, because uh, we they have uh, they have the knowledge, they have maybe fresh money that they can bring to Haiti, fresh blood. Young blood like yours. I mean, I appreciate to see people like you doing things in Haiti. So I think that these are opportunities that need to be done. But then, of course, Haiti needs to get ready also. Yeah. Exactly. So it's a time to start uh, rebuilding, mm -hmm. re revisualizing ourselves, mm -hmm. recreating ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think this is a right time to do that. Okay. Okay. And it's a time to reorganize ourselves. Uh, thank you so. And thanks for that perspective. You've been around. You know, you, you, this is not your first four wagon earthquake and so many ups and downs and, and, and but yet you're still here and so that shows you there's things get tough but when the tough get when the tough things happen the the tougher stay yeah. <laughs> and find a way yes right you right? have to we so have no choice what i want to know now is how do folks book here like i'm sure you're on all the big sites right yes we're on expedia we are on booking.com yeah but people can call us directly also. Oh, directly. Okay. Yeah. And which we'll, is we'll put a, the number. We'll put the. Yeah. Is it is it a direct Haiti number? Yes. Yeah, so we'll put the Haiti, Haiti number. number. It'll be and, right below. Uh, so folks and also can see. Uh, an uh, email address email. that we have. Awesome. You know, services okay. at uh, visalodge.ht. Yeah. So uh, it's um, and very easy to get us. And we put the address. It will put the address too because I mean it is it's so easy to find you guys. Yes. And I'm sure you guys take off the street orders, right? Oh, so yeah. you just come in. Oh yeah. We are. You, know, you take we all are, the major. Always welcome people. All major credit cards accepted. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Okay. Thanks for coming. And listen guys, until we're back at it again, we'll be back at it again. <laughs>